My name is Prachi Avasti. I'm an Associate Professor of Biochemistry and Cell Biology here at the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth. So my lab works on uh, a small green algae called Chlamydomonas reinhardii. We are cell biologists, so we're really interested in understanding how the cells are organized and how their structures are built and maintained. Um, and one structure that we're really interested in in particular is called the cilium, which is an antenna that sticks out from the cell. And it's, it's a, a structure that's found on nearly every cell of the human body, but is also found throughout the tree of life, which is why we're able to study it in this green algae. So we use a lot of different tools in our lab. And so because we're cell biologists, my microscopy is a really big one. So really what we're doing is looking at cells and having them tell us the story. Um, and so what we're able to do is to do a lot of different perturbations. So that might be a genetic perturbation or a chemical perturbation using, um, you know, mutate mutants or drugs and um, to, to break different processes and then see what happens, to actually visually see what happens with the microscope. So what we do after we take those microscopic images is to quantify them using image analysis software or to write some code to do it. Um, and that allows us to really um, get a fine level of detail and understand um, what actually might be different that we're seeing. So our research has a lot of different implications for human health. So um, I mentioned that the structures that we study, these cilia, they're found on nearly every cell of the human body. So that means that in our eyes, we have cilia that are used to sense light. In our kidneys, they sense fluid flow. Um, they're found on all other types of cells to um, sense um, developmental signals during growth. Um, and so when you have a, a defective cilium, um, you can have a wide range of diseases from blindness to kidney disease to um, diabetes, cancer, you name it, we're not just studying one disease, you know, or, or one mutation in one disease, but we're studying a, a fundamental biological process that can help us understand a whole host of different diseases.